market uh, in asking for the uh, uh, forest of the children, the forest and the portion, uh, uh, a native tree, broadleaf tree for every child uh, in the country. You see, uh, uh, it, funny enough, Monty Python came to, to mind for many reasons when I was coming towards this debate. Um, partly because we just keep going around in circles on a debate that's been going on for years on the sort of slow train crash of the Irish forestry sector, but also partly because uh, when you think about forestry, it sort of reminds you of that scene in the life of Brian where they go, what, what have the Romans ever done for us? Uh, and then they list all the things that the Romans have done. Well, they give us the roads, and they give us the aqueducts. What has forestry ever done for us? Uh, it gives us the air that we breathe. Uh, it uh, sequesters the carbon, uh, it filters the water, uh, it regulates the weather, uh, it uh, pr uh, provides a place for animals uh, to uh, live, it creates the biodiversity we need, it gives us fuel uh, if, we, if you use uh, biomass fuel uh, correctly, it provides amenities, uh, and you could go on through the list. In fact, it does everything for us. Uh, and without uh, forestry, uh, there would be nothing, and it can help solve an existential crisis uh, that we face in terms of the climate, and it can provide jobs and a living uh, for uh, farmers uh, and those uh, working in it. Now, that's the, that's the possibility that the students in Galway grasp, that the climate protesters grasp. What's the reality of the Irish forestry sector? It is totally broken. It is absolutely a broken uh, model of forestry. And the licensing debacle uh, is a symptom, it's not the cause, it's a symptom of a broken forestry model. Of course, that needs to be addressed. It's been, we've been saying for years about the ecologists uh, and so on, but it runs much deeper uh, than all of that. I mean, uh, in preparing for this debate, I went back to a, a motion I brought to this House on the 27th of February 2013 to oppose the then plan to sell off the harvesting rights of Quilcha, which had been agreed by the Fine Gael Labour government uh, at the time and argued for all the things that we're all arguing for uh, here, for a different forestry model, for focus on native woodland, uh, for a, you know, uh, a support for farmers, uh, applying to plant trees and so on. But it really tells you a story, right? Because at that time, the targets for afforestation were 10,000 to 15,000 hectares a year, uh, and uh, the objective was to get to 30% forest cover, the EU average level of forest cover. Now the targets are 8,000, half that, to get to 17% forest cover, and this is, and this is against a, an actuality of about 2,500 uh, hectares being planted, uh, woefully missing the targets as we have every single year uh, and uh, a situation where our forest estate is one of the only forest estates in Europe that is actually a net carbon emitter because we have a fundamentally uh, misconceived forestry model which is about uh, monocultures exporting pulp to the UK with 90,000 truck journeys going across every year, blasting out carbon instead of actually uh, having a forestry model that's sustainable, can create employment. And just, you know, if you want a comparison, in a country half the size who knows how to do forestry, Switzerland, there are 100,000 people working in forestry. In Ireland, twice the size of Switzerland, better conditions for growing trees, we have 12,000 people working in forestry. Right? It is fundamentally broken. Uh, and it's a big part of the problem, as well as the fact you know, that we need to basically bring uh, payments in for farmers so they have a viable income if they plant trees uh, as part of CAP and they don't have all this bureaucratic nonsense uh, to deal with, we also need to change the mandate of the state forestry company, right? who in the last week I discover while well, the minister is in Glasgow and the teacher saying, we're going to protect the trees, we're going to take carbon action, the state forestry company is trying to sell off a forest up in Enniskerry, just as they tried to do in 2013 with the entire forest uh, estate. And only because people acted did we stop them doing it. And you can go through the list of the forest sales by uh, 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 Quilcha. I mean, the apple, the sale in Athenroy, it's just unbelievable. Quilcha selling 
what is it, 200, 200 hectares for a data centre, for a data centre in Galway. I mean, it's unbelievable. The Kilcooley Estate, uh, 950 acres sold uh, by, by Quilche, and the person boasting the next day after they got it for a report of one and a half million that it was probably worth 10 million. Thanks, I, there's something fundamentally wrong. Yeah. We need to change the mandate uh, of Quilche. We need to support the farmers uh, in expanding the, uh, the forest estate and have a fundamentally different sustainable Thank forestry you, model. Um,